Hello, this is Vettel121, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII International. And we're going to be exploring more of the Nam Yansa Sand Seed. I, I, I'm going to try and get better at the pronunciations, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm not making any promises. You know, I a lot of the areas in this game, you know, they, they, they're just hard to pronounce. So, uh, yeah. Let's get some more gill. I suppose getting all these small amounts of gill is helpful because they do add up, but... Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be an accessory later on in the game that's going to help us gain a ton of gill. In fact, I want to actually get three of these accessories, and they're called the Cat Ear Hood. Now, what the Cat Ear does... What, uh, what the Cat Ear Hood does in this game as opposed to, I think, the original version, is it stops you from gaining license points. Uh, and it protects you from ice and, what is it, wind? Or it halves ice and wind damage. The real catch to that accessory is, uh, when it's equipped, your character, uh, well, instead of gaining license points, will gain gill. So basically, I think it's like the, uh, the level, uh, times the license point amount uh, determines the gill you gain from killing enemies. So yeah, if you equip three carrier hoods on party members that aren't in your current party at the time, you can rack up gill just killing enemies because characters that aren't in your party still gain license points. So yeah, that little trick in this version of the game is going to be extremely useful and I'm going to take advantage of that. Of course, I can't get a carrier hood right now until... Well, I won't be able to until uh, I actually uh, get a high enough rank in the clan, in the hunt clan. So, uh, yeah, that won't be probably for a while yet. And that little section of map over there, how the hell do you get to it? Huh. Okay, well, I don't know how we're supposed to get to that, but whatever. I'll just backtrack to an area that we haven't explored yet. All right, yeah, we're gonna keep exploring, obviously. Uh, what's over this way? Do not hit the traps, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hate it when that crap happens. Come on, man, you can steal something better than a pebble. Stole a Yensa sail. And we have more of these guys, and they are guarding some chests. wonder if they're anything useful. Balance. Okay, it's a spell. And a high potion. Yay, alright, cool. Yeah, let's check out the balance spell, actually. Uh... Actually, hold on. Does Fran know that one? Hope she does. Yeah, okay. She's already got the license for that one. Anyways, let's check out the balance spell. Deal damage equal to difference between caster's current and... And max HP to all foes in range, yeah. So, so basically it's like the question marks ability in Final Fantasy VII, more or less. It's like the same thing. Well, the only thing that sucks about that ability is Fran's HP is actually going to suck for the entire game, sadly enough. HP upgrades, I really don't have planned for her. I really don't. Thank you for not hitting the trap. Ooh. Some new enemies here. We have an axe beak. Looks like they're weak to ice, I guess. I think. I think that's what that symbol is. Must be ice, because they're dropping fire stones. Yeah, if I had Pel Penelo right now, she'd be kicking ass, but yeah, I'll switch her back into the party soon enough.
And we got an ether. All right, those are always useful. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, eventually in this area somewhere we're gonna encounter our hunt mark. Somewhere. He's around here somewhere. Oh god, these guys again? Just kill them. Yay. Yeah, having cure spells be multi-targeting in this game, or in this version of the game, is extremely nice. Makes them a little bit more useful, even later on. Okay, where are we going now? Hmm. I don't know if we want to go that way just yet. Not sure if we want to go this way just yet either. Yeah, probably not. Okay, what do you have to say? Uh... Yeah, what do you got, man? Hmm, okay, you can buy, we can buy some better equipment here, although I don't think I'm going to. Okay, yeah, you can buy a heavy lance that I already have, and a musk stick. No thanks. They have for armor. Ooh, a golden shield! Yeah, I might buy some of this stuff, but nah. Immune to sleep, yeah, that might be nice to have. No, I don't want to equip it right now. Although the stuff is okay, and... High potions! Oh, okay, we can buy high potions here. Since I don't have a white mage, that might be very, very helpful. So yeah, I want to buy high potions. Aurology, okay, deal damage based on a factor of time to all foes in range. Sure, why not? And what do you sell for spells? Ooh, he's got the stop spell get that. What else do you have? Okay. Well, whatever. I, yeah, I don't think I want to go that way. Do I? It's kind of hard to tell at this point. Yeah, I don't think I want to go that way. I think I want to take this other path. Yeah, let's see what see what lies in this direction some traps apparently avoid the traps thank you and I wish I had the float spell that would be so nice right now have I been here before I guess not but everything looks the same in this area Yeah, use that cure spell. Do -do 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 -do. What's up here? Nothing apparently. Ooh, some treasure. Alright, we get an embroidered tippet. The hell? And 199 gold. Doubles experience earned. Hey, alright, that is definitely 
Not bad. Huh. That is definitely not bad. Absolutely. That was definitely worth it coming up here for that. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going so fast sometimes that I don't even see chess. Yeah, whatever, just kill these bastards, they're easy. I think we might be getting close to our hunt, hunt mark pretty soon up here. Yeah, I imagine he's probably right in this area. Somewhere. And what do we find? We get a Chanter's Dejellable? Ooh. Isn't that a... Isn't that headgear? Oh, it must be armor. Wow, it's not even better than the freaking thing I already have for... Raises her vitality, but her magic power and her defense go down. No. I don't think I like that. Nah, no, not at all. Alright, well anyways, let's keep exploring, and yeah, we're gonna run into our guy pretty soon here, I think. And if that's not him, I don't know what is. Dun, dun, yay. Actually, I think I'm gonna switch out my party and I'll be right back. Alright, that is our mark right here. And what we want to do is we want to steal from this guy. Uh, cause yeah, we can get something really good if we s Okay, Yensa scale. That's not what I want to steal from this guy. Well, whatever, I don't really... Yeah, fuck it, I don't care, let's just kill this bastard. And yeah, I can't kill... Actually, I need to switch out both here with somebody else. Yeah. Uh... If you can steal a wyvern wing from this guy, it makes it easier to, uh, to frickin', uh, what is it? To, uh, make a gun later on in the game. Oh, now Fran's trying to steal? Jeez, that's not what I want. Oh, we're still kicking this guy's ass anyways. Might want to switch Fran's crap though. Yeah, let's give her freaking gravity. Let's see if this works on him. Oh, he's immune to gravity. Okay, that's bad. Uh, let's put freaking. Oh, we already have slow on him. Yeah, let's just cast fire spells. Should get this guy pretty soon. As you can see, we're dealing decent damage to him. Eventually, he'll die here. Yay, we got him! And yes, the Wyvern Lord has been vanquished. And that is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. This is Veto121. See you next time. Ooh, we found a Sirius. I'm not really sure what that is, but Sirius Black from Harry Potter? Probably not, but it might be useful.